Ready to put your app on the map? With our new Places SDK, it's easier than ever to find your place in the world. Earlier this year, we launched a new version of our Places API, bringing features such as more place types and attributes, helping your users more easily find the places they are looking for. To find out more about the features of the new Places API, check out the launch video linked below. When these new APIs were launched, they were only available using a direct call. This meant that when implementing in your application, you would have to perform a server call yourself. Now we have exciting news. SDK support has been launched for the new Places API. By providing SDK support for Places API, we are helping to simplify your app development, allowing you to focus on the core functionality of your application without needing to understand the complexities of the underlying APIs. Ultimately, you can get your app into the hands of your users faster. Now, I'm going to show you how to use the new Places SDK in your Android application. Before continuing, ensure that Places API New is enabled on your Google Cloud project. Firstly, ensure your app is using the correct SDK version. Your app must use SDK version 3.3.0 or newer, and some features are only available in version 3.5.0 or newer. Initialize the SDK by calling the places.initializeWithNewPlacesAPIEnabled method at the application level. You'll only need to do this once for the entire app. If you're an existing customer, great news! No migration is needed after changing the initialization call. The SDK is designed to have the same methods and will switch the new places APIs in the background. Please note that current place is only available in the old places SDK for Android. To implement current place using places API new, check out this link. Now, we'll walk through how to make an example nearby search request in your application. Let's start by outlining the specifics of what we're looking for. We define a list of fields called place fields to tell the API which details we want for each return place. Here, we're interested in the ID and name of each place. Next, we set our search area. For this example, we're creating a circular region centered in New York City with a radius of 1,000 meters. To refine our search further, we'll include and exclude specific types of places. We want to find restaurants and cafes, but we'll exclude pizza places and American restaurants. Now, let's put it all together. We use a builder to create a search nearby request object. This object encapsulates all the search parameters we've defined, the search area, the fields we want, the included and excluded types, and the maximum number of results we want to get back. Finally, we're ready to search. We'll call the search nearby method on our places client and pass it our search request. While the base SDK is written in Java, if you're a Kotlin user, we have you covered. On the Google Maps GitHub, there is an extension library for Kotlin with extension functions that sit on top of the SDK. Follow the link in the description to check it out. Also, be sure to take a look at the code and demos available on the Google Maps Samples GitHub page for more tips and tricks in using the SDK. Follow the link in the description to learn more. Now you know how to use Places New in your application. Check out the link in the description below to see the documentation, and we can't wait to see what you build.